everybody ready? Okay, good morning. Thank you guys for joining us today. We're going to be providing an update relative to the condition of the officer that was struck on I-90 this morning. And in addition to that, we are asking for the public's assistance in locating the vehicle that fled the scene. So speaking this morning will be Mayor Frank Jackson, Chief Calvin Williams, and Council President Kelly, in addition to um, the CPPA President Steve Loomis. Mayor. Well, we want to offer our condolence uh, to the family of Officer Fahey. Uh, as you know, um, he was struck on uh, I-490, not I-490, but I-90, as he was doing his job in helping to direct traffic around an uh, accident that had occurred there. And uh, his family is here, and we want to uh, let them know that, uh, that we support them, that the city of Cleveland is behind them, and we give them our sincere condolences. Uh, Council President. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Um, there's certainly no, no words that can make up for the loss of the family, but we just want the family to know, the Faye family to know that um, we support them. We appreciate the life that was given to service, to service of the city of Cleveland, and understand that um, his whole family has been involved in um, service of the city of Cleveland. Um, the Faye family, please understand that we, we, we feel your pain. We love you. We're here to support you and very sorry for your loss. Good morning. Early this morning, uh, the Division of Police and also the city lost a great public servant. Officer David Fahey lost his life while serving the city. We're going to ask the public's help in finding the person that did this, uh, the person that left the scene of an accident and didn't even check on our officer. Uh, we have information of a vehicle that was involved in this. Uh, it's a white uh, with some gray striping on the bottom of it, Toyota Camry, either mid 80s to early 90s model. Uh, we have a partial plate of George, G as in George, T as in Tom, D as in David. If anybody knows this vehicle, has seen this vehicle, uh, please contact the Cleveland Division of Police, 621-1234, or the emergency number 911, or your local police agency. We have to find this person. We have to find this person today. Uh, Officer Fay, he was out there protecting the city and doing his job, and he's not going home to his family. So I ask that you pray for him, uh, pray for the city, pray for his family. But we need to get that vehicle found. If that person's out there, turn yourself in. If not, we'll find you. Thank you. Thanks, Chief. Um, I'm just going to ask that everybody in Cleveland keep the family in your thoughts and prayers of this officer. Um, help us find a car, a person that's involved in this thing, and uh, keep all the police officers in your thoughts and prayers because everybody's. <laughs> everybody's going through a really hard time right now. Thank you. Thank you. We just ask once again that you continue to retweet, push out the, the photo on social. We appreciate the support of the media and the support of the public in our effort to find this vehicle. Thank you. Yeah, I'll, I'll be putting out a full email blast to all of you with all the information. It'll be very detailed very, very soon. Thank you. You said the whole family was involved in service to the city. Can you just elaborate on that? Yeah, Officer Fay, he is the uh, stepson of uh, one of our retired lieutenants, uh, Lieutenant Ketterer. And, uh, you know, his family, his mom, they, they've all been involved in law enforcement here in, in the city of Cleveland for a long time. Uh, so we ask that you kind of give them a little room and that you continue to pray for them and that, uh, you know, we get out here and we bring this person in that did this. Uh, either they turn themselves in or we'll find them. Thank you.